YouTube this is your girl a beautiful day MUA and you may have noticed that the background in my videos have changed and that's because I redecorated my woman cave so I'm going to take you on a tour today and show you exactly um, how I pulled the look together Okay, this is the top of my vanity, and it's the same custom-built vanity that my husband made me. I just removed the ribbons off of the baskets so that the old natural look really comes through. And then on top, I'm storing my, my brushes now in jewelry boxes. What I did was take a jewelry box, a small one with lots of beads and embellishment, And I um, flipped the section of the jewelry box that's supposed to hold the small pieces of jewelry. And I used it as the backdrop to cover the mirror that is normally the top of every jewelry box. Underneath, let's see if I can zoom in. I have a kabuki brushes and things of that nature. And then a large mirror. I love this mirror. When I first saw it, it just screamed to me um, vintage and uh you know Indian inspired and I just really love that I bought another one of the jewelry boxes and what I did was I cut the top off of it and made it a platform for my mirror and my lamp and then to elevate the box I took the section where the small jewelry goes and I used it to sit the box on top of to give that box a little bit of elevation inside the box I put an organizing um, this just came out of Marshall's little organizing um, doodad where I could stick brushes and tools and I put all of those in there and there you have it that's the top of the vanity <laughs> vanity itself storage pretty much stayed consistent with the way I had things stored previously so in this section I have face and um, moisturizers setting sprays and wipes foundations powders and concealers um, lipsticks and lip glasses and that's normally just the Mac stuff pencils um, eyeshadow primers, shade sticks, grease sticks, paint sticks, mascaras, um, liquid liners, q-tips, eyelashes are down there, and glitter liners. In this section I have more lip pencils, sinful colors, and um, NYX products. Down here is hair stuff. Uh, miscellaneous like my pet egg extra powder and wipes and this one is more lip Mac model co uh, hard candy NARS Too Faced Lancome etc etc and this drawer I have more hair stuff more hair stuff and um, extra eyeglasses. I have lots of eyeglasses. So I like to switch a lot. And then this one is just where I keep all of my cleansing tools. So I wipe my brushes off on those towels and stuff every day. And that is the vanity in storage. <music> Over here is my secondary storage area. And in the box on top, these boxes actually came from Tuesday morning. And what I did was open the boxes and flip them in different directions so that I could get height and depth out of each box. So the first box, I opened up one smaller box, put it down as a base for a larger box. And inside here, I just have various eyeshadows, paint pods, um, mineralized shadows, um, fluid line, liners, things of that nature. And in the first drawer is MAC, uh, actually it's miscellaneous palettes. It's some Too Faced, some Estee Lauder, lots of Sleek, um, Tokidoki, Urban Decay is in there. These are all MAC and NARS. These are larger palettes, heavy. MAC palettes and then all the bigger palettes and then my Z palettes they just have flirt shadows in it. Flirt is by Kohl's. 
and then in this drawer is just miscellaneous makeup bags depotting tools things of that nature are in there and that's the secondary storage area This is where I keep other products and that box down there is um, contest giveaways and product samples that companies have sent me and my tissues and in this storage area I just have a makeup bag where I keep some nail things and um, that's a watch box actually I just set it there because it kind of fit in here is cream shadows and blushes that are MAC and Makeup Forever this one is all bath products, philosophy, and lots of lush, as well as my candle snuffer and lighter. And this is hair things. So all my hair tools I kind of set out. What I did is I plugged them all up on the back side so that the cords run down. And then I could use them every morning by just simply turning on the um, surge protector. So I have everything that I need at a glance. And um, rods, brushes, combs, thing to cover my gray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some gray is trying to creep up. But I'm creeping right along with them. And uh, again, I did the same thing. I put a box underneath and one on top to give it some height. And then in here, I just have regular hair stuff. Um, just whatever you need and to do your hair, I put in there all the products. And then these are just rollers. And that's the additional storage area. Along the walls are lots of mirrors and shelving. These are the same shelves that I had previously. What I did was to capture um, the peacock theme in here. I put some peacock feathers and swords behind my large vanity mirror. And then I arranged everything on the shelves to bring out that turquoise color and place more feathers behind some additional mirrors that I added. These little flat glass um, I mean, flat, unframed mirrors came from Target in a set for like $20. So I kind of did that um, and just rearranged everything that I already had, kind of moved it around on the shelf so that the greenish blue color could really pop. But on the shelves, I have glitters, lotions, and sprays, mini nail polishes. That's my new fave. Love those full-size nail polish and the Sally Hansen strips um, face products like powders, highlighters, blushes mineralized skin finishes right there up here I have bath stuff karma cream which I keep I love that stuff um, a candle more bath and body type things um, to scrub with powders all my perfumes and I just keep a little section for the um, roller bowls. I'm liking those right now. And that's the storage that is part of the shelving unit um, that I keep on the walls. Here's the top of my dresser. I have this party light tea lamp. Um, that I got years ago. What I did was I went through my house and found things that I hadn't used in a long time that we either had boxed up in the basement or in the garage and pulled those things out. This lamp was one of them. I've had it for years and just never had a color scheme that worked with it so it worked well in here so I pulled it out. I found this jewelry box at Marshall's for $29.99 or $39.99 and um, the whole room was actually inspired by this feather I kind of fell in love with this headband it came from forever 21 but it was just so beautiful in the color scheme um, it just kind of influenced the way I wanted to do this whole room so I picked that up and it just kind of took off from there more boxes flipped in different directions in order to give that beautiful height and depth and inside of them I just went ahead and stored all of my beauty books it's a candle holder. This was dirt cheap, y'all. I was really proud of this one. It came from Marshalls for $5.99. I was so proud of it. I left the price tag on it so I could show my sisters when they came over. 
These feather wreaths came from Pier 1 Imports. So you can see they have the peacock feathers. And what I did was place one of those flat unframed mirrors inside of each one to give it a little bit more dimension. I picked the curtains up from Pier 1 Imports and they have that peacock feather detailing with just the golds and the amber color in the center. So the teal of the peacock kind of comes out um, and the other feathers and then the gold from this curtains is kind of translated everywhere else. And that is the way I am storing everything currently. And I really love the way the room came out, um, especially now that everything that I own pretty much is in this room except fine jewelry and coats and um, some ridiculously high heel shoes that couldn't fit into this closet. So, thank you so much for watching YouTube. I hope this gives you some ideas. If you're looking for the shelving units, they're at Kohl's. The flat mirrors right here are at Target. The rounded mirrors with the uh, frame around them, they're also at Target. Uh, the little knickknacks and things of that nature can come from Marshalls, Ross, Tuesday Morning, any store like that. And um, just my little vintage mirrors, just a find I think I picked up at a thrift store. So keep your mind and um, eyes open for bargains everywhere you shop. Be creative. You can cut open a box and make it look different um, each time. So... Thank you so much for watching YouTube. Hope you got great ideas for this. Um, if you have any questions about where I purchase anything, be sure to give me a message below and I'll be happy to answer it. Take care. Smooches.